<laughs> well, famous newsreader, highly accomplished broadcaster, you do Today's the Day. Uh, you won't mind me describing Today's the Day as a, a conventional quiz in the sense that it's uh, host, questions about, in this case, uh, past events, yeah. and two contestants on each team. Correct. Yeah. yeah. You, you've probably never seen a quiz, actually, with three on one side and two on the other, till now, because it's coming in just a second. <laughs> All the contestants knew about this. They are our actors. Martin obviously didn't know. His production team did. Nobody else knew. The audience did not know about this. You just thought it was another regular recording of today's well, the day. Well, in retrospect, I hope they're not all like that. <laughs> it was a fairly horrendous. It was every broadcaster's nightmare. They're in on it. They know the questions. There's a lovely old lady called Coral. She knows uh, the, the answers to the questions. And unfortunately, she's going to be a little unwell, just a little bit queasy. And it does produce a nightmare for Martin Lewis. <laughs> Welcome to Tuesday the 29th of November. Today's the day in 1937. A special telephone number came into operation for the very first... Well, meet your opponents today. They are Coral Lorne from London and her nephew Neil Ashdown from Godalming in Surrey. Now, Neil, you work in a bookshop and you also have a rather unusual talent. Yes, um, this is a talent that was quite literally passed, passed down to me. Um, Good heavens, it's, it's educating Archie, isn't it? It's sort of, yes. Say hello to Mr Lewis. Hello, Mr. Lewis. Can you say Gottle Gear? I can say that very easily, yes. It's the, it's the these I have trouble with. So you've got a little bit of practice to go as a ventriloquist. Coral, one of your main hobbies is, uh, is not ventriloquism, but knitting. That's right, yes. I what what do you knit? Oh, I make all sorts of things, but uh, I've knitted since I was a little girl, because my mother... Right, on with round one. Stop the clip. Fingers on buzzers first. Buzz when you think, sorry, can I, Coral blew her nose, just as I was actually sitting <laughs> down. I'm so sorry. Pee -pee. No, that's all, pee -pee. You're perfectly entitled to blow your nose, it's just that it... Now a report from today in 1970. Who is the now famous cleric making an early TV appearance? Ladies and gentlemen, Neil and Coral? Roger Royal. Absolutely right, the singing vicar. Coral, that was very well anticipated. Did you just catch a glimpse of him in the first shot? Yes, I recognised his face. I've seen him several times on television. Very, very good. Very good indeed. Well, Seven, next. The last time at Christmas when he presented a special thing about the nativity. Did you see that? Yes, I think I did. Well, I think I did. It was extremely oh, it was good. Lovely. We could chat like this all day. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I was Who played Florence Nightingale in a 1951 film I'm biography? Ever, ever called I'm a lady so with sorry. a... I'm ever so sorry. I'm ever sorry. I'm not feeling very well. Oh, really? Oh. Oh. Can, we, can, we, can we get some help, please? I'm feeling a little bit queasy. Yeah, well, don't worry. We'll get you a, we'll get you a glass of... We'll get just you a glass Martin, of... We'll, we'll just stop everything for a moment. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I'm ever so sorry, Mr Lewis. No, please don't worry. No, no. Your, your health is, uh, is most important. And indeed it is. Um, and now you're faced with a terrible problem because uh, you've got to start the show all over again. But th there is a stroke of luck because um, Neil has brought along a friend called Brian. <laughs> and he's as nutty as Neil. And we haven't seen the last of Coral. Nightmare goes on. If the other team were happy, we could consider, as we're only sort of, you know, halfway through it, going back to the top of the show, putting his friend in with him. So, so basically what we've got to do is you've got to go through the same questions again with Neil and his friend actually coming up with the same answers that, that Neil and Coral came up with in yeah. the first part. Yeah. Brian, you Neil's friend? Yeah? Yeah. Right. Would you like to have a go at it? Sure. Have a go at it? Yeah. 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 Yes. Yes, Carl. Give him a big round of applause. I have this doll that was handed down, it's a family heirloom, that was handed down to me very recently by my mother. Give us, give us a burst, go on. Hello, Ryan. Hello, Ryan. <laughs> How are you, Ryan? Oh, fine, how are you? <laughs> you don't have to talk like that. Well, that's you? what you're talking like. Let <laughs> me ask Brian, you're uh, what's called a twilight manager at a store in Salford. What exactly twilight manager. does a twilight manager do? <laughs> Uh, basically means I get in six hours before anybody else. Uh, 
make sure the melons have arrived, that they're priced and distributed so that when you turn up your melons, they're all there for us. Do you get the rest of the day off? Do I? Because, like, no, I'm there all day. <laughs> now, a report from today in 1970. Who is the now famous cleric making an early TV appearance? Mr. Lewis, uh, I'm feeling really ever so much better. Oh, really, how very nice. I'm delighted to hear that. Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm, I'm really delighted. Are you sure? Now, are you absolutely sure? Mark, can you hear all this? Yes. I mean, I think I don't least... believe it. Yeah, tremendous. She's back in, back in the seat here. Can I see? <laughs> <laughs> Brian, you've been a terrific sport, but as Carl's come back, would you mind? Would you mind standing down? I think a... I'd like him to stay with oh. me because he's such a good support. Come and come and speak with me. I'll answer the questions. It, it's, so he can it, stay it, with it, it's highly unusual. But Mark, how do we then explain? How do we then explain? But we can't, I mean, the first thing... How do we explain to the viewers that if we pick it, if we pick it... No, Mark, Mark, I think, look, this thing has got completely and totally out of hand, OK? Let's start again, because we're losing the flow, we're losing the momentum. You heard the audience there, the audience are getting restless. I mean, come on. Martin, I think the way we can shoot this yeah. is actually with Brian sitting off camera. You won't see him. Oh, come on, come on, Mark. We can't shoot this. I mean, look, for God's sake, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Absolutely ludicrous. I mean, tell me how you're going to get continuity for a start. <laughs> so we've now got two first parts of the programme, one with, with uh, Coral in it and one with uh, Brian in it. And so uh, the choice is to go for a third and start all over again. But then Martin comes up with a great idea. And blow me if I understand we this. We get up to the point where Coral was ill, OK? So she's sitting on her own, right? And she says she feels ill. We get her going out, and, and I then ask for a volunteer to come down from the audience. You've got the, you've got the, you've got the... And, and, and Brian then comes down, takes up Coral's, um, takes up Coral's place, and just after Brian gets in there, Coral, Coral then comes back, right? Yeah. And she says she'd like to carry on with the contest, and that would explain why she was staying sitting on Brian's knee. If she says, if they have a conversation about that, okay, I mean, I've got to say this could be this could be quite a hysterical show, actually. <laughs> I'm trying to on the positive side of this. <laughs> well, as you've seen, ladies and gentlemen, Carl has had to leave, but uh, in the finest show business tradition, we hope that she is all right, and the show must, of course, go on. So. Could I ask for a volunteer from the audience? <laughs> Sir, do I... Would you like to have a go? <laughs> OK, let's say, uh, Brian, that's the point at which you put up your hand, OK? Let's make it realistic, you know. Um, <laughs> this shows, if at all, could I ask for a volunteer to come from the audience to join Neil to answer the rest of our questions? Who fancies having a go? Uh, I'll answer... I'll but... answer some questions. <laughs> Unfinished business. <laughs> I've got you for Martin Lewis! Yeah.